our story so far. After witnessing Ramon's abduction before their very eyes, Luke and Professor Layton are shocked to see him return to Reinhold Manor on his own. Busy with the murder investigation, Professor Chelmy warns Layton against meddling any further. However, Layton is confident that the golden apple and the morning's murder are linked to one another. Finally free to move about, Layton and Luke begin their search for the golden apple in earnest. If I'm not mistaken, that is the exact same briefing that we were given last last stream. Uh, so we need to pick. We need to begin actual chapter six. Go talk to Beatrice. 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 I think I remember who Beatrice is. I think I remember pretty well. We're not going to talk to Lucy or the cat. Beatrice should be on this next screen, I believe. No, no. Beatrice, I, I remember where she is. Let's go back. Beatrice should be in here, I believe. No, it's not Beatrice. Let's see. We'll go back. And then I think she's in here. Chill, the next latent game is Pandora's Box. I believe so. Uh, I'm not sure about the order of the games. Uh, I will be playing through. I'm going to try to play through them all. I'm not going to promise it, but I'm going to try. Uh, and we'll take on the second one, just not immediately. Not immediately. This is what, our fifth stream of this? And while it's fun, like I said, it's a fun game. It's just going on for a long time because I'm actually taking the time to solve all the puzzles. Beatrice was the woman that knew a lot about Reinhold. Oh, 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 I think I should have gone back instead. Okay, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. I think it's this way. No? Is she at the end? Is this Beatrice? I think so. Yeah! <laughs> I did it. I did it. Welcome back, Professor. I've been so looking forward to your return. I don't remember her voice. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I've watched every single video. I've watched every single video that's posted. I still can't get voices down. Let's see. Lil Fire said he watched the beginning. He's found something out. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I hate. I hate when stuff is spoiled for me. Don't do it. I hate to have to have to silence you in the chat for a hot second. Don't do it. Thank you. Was there something you wish to discuss with me? Oh my yes. Listen to this. One of the guests here just performed a doze and dash routine on me. The man's gone, and so are all his things. I'd like you to bring him back. I'm a businesswoman, after all. How can I run a business with scoundrels skipping out on the bill like this? Would you mind... Oh, wrong voice. Would you mind if I looked around the man's room? Please do. Look at it all you want. Here, I'll show you in. All right, so this is the man's room. Yuck! When absolute pigsty, this whole place stinks of smoke, and there's trash everywhere. Beatrice, could you describe this guest's appearance for me? Well, he had a sharp mustache, and it was pretty clear that he wasn't from around here. That was obvious. A mustache, reeks of smoke. Oh, do you suppose she could be talking about the Inspector Chelmy? I was actually going to say Chelmy, but that doesn't look like a silhouette. Inspector Chelmy, isn't he the self-important windbag who's been up at Reinhold Manor? What's going on, Scat? Welcome to the stream. We'll play a little bit more uh, Professor Layton. I'm sure we're going to get into a puzzle real soon, so feel free to play along with the puzzles, guys. No, that's not him. The man who stayed here just looks so much more evil. He was wearing a long trench coat. I'm sure you know the type. Oh, where could he have run off to? Sorry to ask this, Professor, but would you be a darling and find the thief who skipped out on this bill? All right. So now we have a we have another task that's not relative to this mystery at the at least from first impression. Let's go find this man. Be a darling and go find that dodging 
build on it beneath. Honestly, how are we ever going to make progress on our search for the golden apple? Things aren't looking good, no one knows anything about the item in question, and we have no leads. I'm beginning to wonder if this golden apple is everyone, that everyone is in a flop over even exists. Now, Luke, I wouldn't say we're without any leads. Think, my boy, there's a place in St. Mysteria that every villager has warned us to stay away from. What do you mean? The tower, Luke. No matter who we ask, no one seems to know a thing about the place. But suppose for a moment that the tower has something to do with the golden apple. Then it follows that the people of St. Mysteria, scared to draw near the tower, wouldn't know anything. Of, of course, we need to investigate that tower. The tower marks the far northern border of St. Mysteria. Let's search the road north of the market for a route to the tower. All right, chapter six begin. <sighs> we got to find a way to get to uh to the elusive tower here. Save progress, of course, of course. I'm an aggressive saver. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm or, or not aggressive. I'm I'm a compulsive saver. There we go. That's that's the proper way of saying that. All right, new song, new song for once, bruh. We got us a new song. All right, so we got to find a path to the tower. We also need to find this man. We also need to find this man. Let's see. He's back. Percy's back. So you know we're going to have a puzzle. I think it's Percy, right? Oh, yeah. I'm loving this game when I can get people's names right. Good day, gentlemen. How's your investigation coming along? I can't imagine as much fun asking questions all day. So how about a puzzle to liven things up? Are y'all ready? Y'all boys ready? Uh, let's see. Why would it make the OK button red and the no button blue? I have no idea. Maybe that's how they do that over in the UK. I'll ask, I'll ask my friends over there. <laughs> I'll ask my friends if that's how they, they color code stuff. All right. Puzzle number 72, The Sound of Silence. This puzzle is worth 40 picarets. Here we go. Which one of these words doesn't make the sound of silence? Note. Rhythm. Rest, treble, chord, or scale. Which of these words doesn't make the sound of silence? Hmm. Note, rhythm, rest, treble, chord, scale. Which of these words doesn't make the sound of silence? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm thinking rest. Little Fire says rest. I'm thinking rest. I keep wanting to say something, and then, like, as I get ready to turn it into words, I have no idea how to turn it into words. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to do so right now. <laughs> I'm thinking rest, because out of all of these, rest is silence, you know? Rest means you're not playing a note. The rest of these means there's at least one note being played. So I'm going to go rest. It actually wasn't that hard to explain now that I think about it. I'm going rest. I think I've got it. Dope. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh I play piano. I um I, I can sing all right, like when I'm actually trying. And uh I used to DJ, so like I got a little bit of music influence. That I should have I probably should have said that as I was doing the puzzle. I'm sorry. All the others have silent letters. Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb. Treble and note and scale have silent E's. Chord has a silent H. Rhythm has a silent H. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I guess the old advice to write what you know doesn't apply here. That was just too easy. You know, right now I'm pinning a mystery novel and I'm basing the protagonist on you. This is why I've been observing you so carefully. In fact, the more I see of you, the better. So good luck with your search. I'll be watching. Uh, the reading lamp. The reading lamp shall go to Luke. I believe we put the bookcase in his room too. So that makes sense there. All right, let's talk to Deke and then we can go to the tower. I'm only doing these puzzles with these two because there's no point at which they come up to us. And the game said that eventually we're gonna need to have a certain amount of puzzles done so that we can keep progressing. So I'm trying to do like people as we pass by them. Nothing good can be said about that tower. I heard it's all sorts of scary. You should stay away, yup. Thanks, Deke. You're really helpful. Excuse us as we make our way towards this tower. Oh, it's Lucy and the cat. You know they're gonna have hard ass puzzles for us. Hey, mister. It's good to see you again. See, I'm totally stuck here and I could really use your help. My friend told me this puzzle the other day and I just can't solve the thing. Can you help me? Here you go. Lucy's puzzles have been dope so far, if I remember correctly. They've been pretty dope so far. Uh, the chocolate code, number 67, is worth 40 picarats. Here we go. On Valentine's Day, your gadget-loving, technophile girlfriend, that means she's, she's good with computers, gave you a most unusual slab of chocolate. While the jumble of letters looks like nonsense, if you manage to decode the letters written on the chocolate, a secret message will appear from uh, from your sweetheart will appear. What is she trying to tell you? G E C Y blank N W. G E C Y blank N W. Damn it! <laughs> Remember, if you solve the puzzle quickly. Or if you know the answer, don't po don't post it in the chat. Let me give me a, give me a chance to solve these puzzles. G E C Y blank N W gadget loving girlfriend. That has to be important. That has to be important, or else it wouldn't have been added. G E C Y. I'm about to blow these last hint coins. After, I have two hint coins. After this, I don't think there's any more that we can use. I think I found like everything. Unless we've been, unless there's some place we haven't been yet. I think we spent all the hint coins or we found all the hint coins. Can I guess? Sure, you can guess, but don't post it right away. Don't post it right away. Give me a, give me a second. Some of these puzzles I'm super quick at. Some I'm not. Okay, they don't do anything upside down. Let's see. G E C Y N W. I'm gonna blow a hint coin. I'm gonna spin the hint coin right here. It's rather surprising that your girlfriend will leave you a message via chocolate. It's usually more her style to contact you with digital means or via via digital means. Okay, let's see. Why didn't she send us something through digital means? Is her her stuff is broke. Her phone's broke. Her phone, her computer is broken. Computer get get Man Man, that G is messing me up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm completely, <laughs> I'm completely stumped here. Let's see. Not working. Not working is the NW. Blank, uh, not working at the bottom is not working. Uh, 
I hope that blank isn't supposed to be a letter. If that blank is supposed to be a letter, my guess is it would be I, and then it would be G-E-C, yours is not working, or something like that. I feel like get E Damn, damn. I feel like I'm getting closer. I feel like I'm getting closer. Not working is NW. G E C Y. What could that be? What could that what could those be the first letters of? I don't want to spend that second coin. I don't want to spend that second coin. Okay, if you if you've been playing along and you you've started to figure this out, feel free to put guesses in the chat. If you know the answer, do not put that in the chat. Feel free to guess along though. Input your answer. Oh, it, it it's two words. It's two words. Text me. Text me. Let's see. Little Fire said, text me. How'd you come to text me? I like, how'd you come to that conclusion? It's two words. Okay. T U V W X. I'm trying to see if the bites mean anything. Because from what it looks like, this was just unwrapped. This was just unwrapped, and the bites are only on certain ones. Why would she? Let's see. She she sent us this because hmm, she normally sends us stuff through digital means. Why didn't she? My guess is because she can't. From upside down. Where do you see text be upside down? <laughs> she can't. So then what would she say here? Damn this puzzle. Did I spend that last? No, I didn't. I still got one hint coin. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this could be. If it's not six individual words, then obviously the last two letters can't be not working. I feel like it is me. Okay, I'm going to spin that, that last hint coin. We're in dangerous waters. We're in dangerous waters here. Here we go. As a self-professed gadget friend, on more than one occasion, she has suffered from the unique modern condition of texting thumb. Okay. Okay, got it. So these letters aren't... These letters are nearby. I'm trying to see how to explain this. Texting thumb is basically when, like, on a phone, say you try and type your name, but you've got fat thumbs, you're probably going to hit the wrong letter. You're probably going to hit the wrong letter. So let me see. If it's G, G could be any of those letters. I'm looking at my keyboard right now. And I'm guessing the bytes would be... The bytes... Okay, it is text me. You're right, little fire. The bites are in which direction she accidentally. I'm sorry. The bites are in the direction of the key that she accidentally meant to hit. So if G is up, that would be T. E was not a mistake. C is to the left, so that's X. Y is to the left, so that's T. The first word is text. And then N is to the right, it's M. W is to the right, it's E text me good job good job on that one I, this was the most convoluted 
This was the most con. Oh, how do I do an X? This is like that. Okay. This is the most convoluted puzzle yet. Lucy is now at a 67% ratio of good puzzles. Cause this was this was complete like without those hints, that one couldn't have been done. That one couldn't have been done. There we go. That's the most convoluted. Critical thinking is the key to success. Shut up, Layton. Shut up. I want to hear it. The bites taken out of each chocolate show how, show you how each letter written on the keyboard, uh, chocolate released to the letters on the keyboard. That's ridiculous. That's too far. That's not. That's not even. Why didn't she just put? When she got the chocolate made, why didn't she just put the right letters? Why didn't she just put the right letters? Come on now. Oh, is that all you had to do to figure it out? Why didn't I think of that? Can you keep a secret? Don't tell Adria you told me the answer, okay? Thanks, mister. Oh, no, I'm definitely running right to Adria and telling her. In fact, let's go right now. Let's head back. Let's head back right now. Where's Adria's this way? I'm telling her. I'm telling her. Hey, Adria, guess what? Where's the fun of running around town trying to help other people? Don't you feel so dumb? Okay, moving on. We're gonna move past the cat puzzle. We're gonna move past the cat puzzle. I'm a little hot that Lucy just wasted our two hit coins. Let's see, we need to find a path to the tower. Let's head this way. This took us to the backside of town. And now I wonder if we can go in Oh wait, we haven't been in here yet, have we? Oh, that's back that way. Okay, never mind. Wait a second, where are we right now? We're in a different. We haven't been here yet, have we? No, we have it. Oh yes, we have. I looked at this already. Oh, what's that on the ground? It appears to be a scrap of paper. We already read this. I'm not reading it again. It's a long. It's a long thing. It's long. All these notes are long. That's the end of the page. Professor, what's the matter? You look deep in thought. I can't confirm my suspicions at the moment, but I think it's safe to say this goes deeper than we thought. All right, let's see if we can talk to this woman and then maybe head up that tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me, oh, my. Ish. Let's see how she talk. Ish. It's not every day I see a handsome buck around these parts. Your looks are impressive, Derry, but let's see if you've got the smarts. Let's try this puzzle on for size. I'd be happy to solve any puzzle you have, madam, but I don't believe we've met before. You are... Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know my name, Derry? I'll tell you as soon as I solve this puzzle. Willing to bet willing to bet that this woman's name is Martha. All right. Puzzle 102. Aces in the Joker. It's worth 40 pick rats. We have no hint coins. You've scattered a deck of 52 cards and one Joker face down on the table. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Never stream right after taking a nap. Uh, you scattered a deck of 52 cards and one joker face down on the table so that you don't know which card is where. Next, you start turning over, turning the cards over one by one. Assuming that you can't flip the same card twice, what are the percentage odds that you will flip over all four aces before you turn over the joker? Here we go. This is the math. Okay. So what are the odds that you flip over all four aces before turning over the joker? One by one. All right, so you have to turn over at least four cards to do this. It's math time. You are so right, Scat. <laughs> it's, let's see. I don't think this is a puzzle we have to do. We probably could walk right past her, but let's try this one. 52 cards and one joker. So that's 53, 53 cards. 
Uh, on your first pull, you have what? Let's see. How's this goes? Is this permutation or is this combination? That's that's the one. That's the one I get mixed up all the time. Whether it's permutation or combination. What are the odds that you turn over all four aces before you turn over the Joker? Let's see. So on the first one, you have you have one scenario that you don't want to happen on the first one. Flipping over the Joker. Let's see. I'm gonna look at this screen right here. All I'm doing is using um, a calculator. I'm using the calculator while I look here, so that I don't have to rack my brain. Let's see, 53. You have a 53 chance. Uh, let's see, out of 53. What are the odds that you'll turn over all four aces? The first one is one. Was it one? See, this is this. The way I want to do this, it is so hard to explain in words. Like, I could write it out and solve it. I could have my proof and everything, but it is ridiculously hard to explain in words. You have four out of, out of 53 that you want. And then you have one that you don't out of 53. What are the percentage odds that you'll turn over all four aces before you turn over the Joker? Okay, here's 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 how to do it without doing any real math. Without even writing anything down, for every chance that you have to turn over the Joker, you have four more chances to turn over an ace. But every time you turn over an ace, that that chance drops in one. So let's say we flip over an ace. Let's say we don't flip over anything. You have four more chances to pull oh, pull an ace than you do a joker. But once you flip over an ace, that that four becomes a three. All the way down to one. One to one. They put this in a kid's game? They put this one in a kid's game? With the odds you flip over all four aces before you turn over the joker... Damn it. Four out of 23. Man. Let's see. Little Fire says five out of 260. Had to be a little bit less than 2%. Let's see, Scat says, actually it's teen, I'm guessing 10. Ugh, I'm not, I don't think I'm in the mood to actually do this one. I think we're going to have to let this one pass. We're never going to know Martha's name, guys. We're never, we're never going to be able to find out Martha's name. We'll solve this one later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That puzzle no pushover is shit now. All right. Let's see. Little Fire said 10 out of 260. What's 10 out? What's 1 divided by 26? 3%? A little less than 4%? No, nah, it's not for kids. It's for teens. Same thing. <laughs> they put this in a game for non bill paying people <laughs> same thing <laughs> we're gonna move on to the tower that's our goal I think it this is a dead end and this does appear to be the only road doesn't it gosh that tower sure looks awfully ominous doesn't it seeing it up close I can understand why the villagers are so scared of the place let's take a closer look at this wall there might be more to it than meets the eye Hmm. 
And who might you be? Well, I'd rather not say. Huh? Why not? What are you hiding? We seek access to the tower. Oh. Do you think you could help us, miss? Mm, the tower? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait! What in the world was that about? Huh? See, she dropped a ticket. Professor, what's this? A Ferris wheel. Oh, say, wrong voice. A Ferris wheel ticket? Very curious indeed. Luke, that girl may have dropped this to tell us where we should head next. But, but why would she want to help us? Your guess is as good as mine, Luke. Still, I can't shake the feeling that she's trying to help us. Well, your intuition has never been wrong. Let's see what we can find about the park's Ferris wheel. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, Layden. Go straight to the park. You've been a thorn in my side for too long. I think it's about time for you to disappear. For good. Well, we've solved chapter six. Thank you guys for checking the stream out. I'll catch you. <laughs> uh, we didn't really do too much for chapter six. That's interesting. That's interesting. I see Lil Fire says, can that be Flora? Yeah, honestly, as soon as she showed up, I was like, maybe that's Flora. Because for, for a while, I thought Flora and uh, Dahlia were the same person, the way they were talking. I was like, no one's like, yo, who's Flora? Uh, Carlos, welcome back to the stream. It's all good. We just we just made it through chapter six. Nothing happened. They gave us a big ass math puzzle. This woman, uh, Martha, she wouldn't tell us her name. Martha still hasn't told us her name, by the way. Uh, we're gonna let's see. Let's move on to to the park so we can go through the Ferris wheel. I asked that back in like chapter two. I asked why can't we go in this Ferris wheel? Or not this Ferris wheel. This park. The the gate was locked and everything. And, and for anyone who's currently watching, just joined the stream, we have no hint coins. If a puzzle comes up and it's too much, we just got to we gotta find a way to move on. There, unless we can get in the park right now, there's, no, uh, there's nowhere for us to find any more hint coins. I think I found all of them. I think I found all of them for every place that we've been so far. This park has been closed every time we've come by. Why do you suppose that is, Professor? Hmm. I have the foggiest idea. Perhaps we should ask someone at the town hall. I want them to figure out where we're supposed to go for real. <laughs> 